let's take a little bit of a discussion of what heat is. Heat is essentially a way that we measure the energy of motion. You can think about, you tend to think about heat as like how hot it is outside or how you know much heat you're feeling. But really, when it's hot, what's happening is that the particles are of air are moving faster than they are when it's cold. So you have this going very, very fast. Whereas if it's cold, it's going very, very slow. Slow or fast. And that's going to give you a different amount of energy. So if something's moving very fast, it's going to have more energy. And we feel that energy in terms of heat or something feeling hot. Heat is, uh, the SI unit for heat is the joule. You can see the symbol for that is a capital J. So capital J for joule. You can also, uh, you've also probably seen the measurements of heat in calorie. Um, so this is a lowercase c. Uh, it's going to be kind of important. So a calorie is equal to exactly 4.184 joules. Um, and it's the heat amount of heat that's needed to increase the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. We are water-based. A lot of things that we're working with are water-based. So it helps to have something that converts uh, to water. Uh, it's important also that calorie here, this you don't want to get this confused with the calorie that is on the back of foods. Um, the calorie that's on the back of foods is actually capital C, calorie, which is one capital C calorie is actually the same as one kilocal, or one kilocalorie. So it's actually equal to 1,000 lowercase calories. Uh, this is, you know, just only important if you're starting to do very broad calculations. Uh, also, as, as a reminder from our metric units, kilo is 1,000. So that's why one kilocalorie is 1,000 calories, or one kilojoule is 1,000 joules. So you do want to make sure that you are, are clear on how to use those. So we want to convert energy units. So if a snack is labeled with 100 calories for a package, uh, we want to look at, so this is actually 100 kilocalories per package, because it's that capital C, how much energy is in the package in joules? So we can actually break this down. So we're going to be converting from, so this 100 calories, capital C is actually 100 kilocalories. So we can convert from kilocalories to, uh, to calories, and then we're going to convert to joules. So let's take a look at how we do that. So I'm going to convert my 100 kilocalories to calories. So remember, there's 1,000 calories for one kilocalorie. So we'll put that in key cal, 1,000 calories. And then we have 4.184 joules for every one calorie. Our kilocalories, we can put that over one so that everything lines up. Kilocalorie, kilocalorie. The units we're left with here are joules. So we get 41,418,000 joules. Zero missing. I do suggest that you take time to practice converting 230.5 kilocalories to joules, 25 kilocalories to kilojoules, and 5,234 calories to kilojoules. It'll be good to get your brain back into conversions and practicing these types of conversions.